as he called one of the members of the Bailey Casson family uh, executive committee, for lack of a better word. And she sent me an inbox saying that we have a cousin uh, who wants to talk to you uh, by the name of Terrence Bailey. She sent me an inbox on Facebook, okay? Relatives, okay? Because I don't call them family. I'm going to call them relatives. Family is family. These are just relatives, okay? Um, and so I called him up and we spoke on the phone. Uh, this was a couple months ago. And he was calling me for Ken Norris, uh, someone else who claims to be a direct descendant of Frederick Douglass. Now, for the record, those of you who know me, you know that I have never claimed to be a direct descendant of Frederick Douglass. I have never claimed that. I am a direct descendant of Frederick Douglass's first cousin and half brother by the name of Stephen Henry Bailey, my four times great grandfather, who happens to be the same Stephen that Frederick talks about in his autobiographies. When Frederick Douglass talks about growing up with cousin Stephen, that's my four times great grandfather. Terrence Bailey knows this shit because my name is on the Bailey family tree. How did my name get on the tree? Why was I allowed to go to family reunions? Why do I get a letter every other year inviting me to family reunions? Okay? So that whole, hold on, that whole Terrence Bailey thing is just a bunch of hate shit. It's a bunch of hate shit. Okay? And I think it's coming from the fact that when people think of Frederick Douglass, they don't think of him. When people think of Frederick Douglass, they don't think of Ken Morris. When people think of Frederick Douglass, they don't think of all the tens of thousands of descendants of Isaac and Betsy Bailey. They think of me. They think of me. So there's jealousy within my relatives, okay, that is bringing this forth of hatred forward that Terrence Bailey had. I don't know this Negro. I never met him. I never met him. So I'm sure he's a distant relative because his last name is Bailey. Bailey is the family name. I want y'all to understand something. None of us have no exclusive uh, uh, relationship to Frederick Douglass. There's thousands of us. Isaac and Betsy Bailey had over a dozen children. You understand? I come through one of their children named Betsy. Frederick comes through one of their children named Harriet. And then they had other children. I'm not a direct descendant of Frederick Douglass. But I'm a direct descendant of his cousin and half-brother who he grew up with. Okay? I'm not a relative of Frederick Douglass by marriage. I'm a relative of Frederick Douglass by blood. By blood. You understand? The blood that ran in Frederick Douglass' veins runs in my veins. Bailey family. Certified Bailey family. Okay? So that Terrence Bailey shit, I'm going to leave that alone. I just wanted to clarify that because I know some of y'all needed me to answer that. Okay? So the next time he start his shit, just ask him a real simple question. Real simple. Is Umar Johnson and Frederick Douglass both descendants of Isaac and Betsy Bailey? That's it. No more conversation. Is Umar Johnson and Frederick Douglass, are they both descendants of Isaac and Betsy Bailey? That's it. That's the only question you need. For his bitch ass. Excuse my French. Let's go back to the call. Do we have another question on the line? <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's getting real funny now. Uh, yeah, go ahead and laugh now with your big ass. All right. I think he said by blood, right? He said by blood. Let me say it again. He said by blood, right? All right. So, uh, it's come to... Uh, I'm going to put this out here because it seems as though some people just ain't going to do it. So I'm going to have to do it. The people that I expected to do it are not going to do it. They're stalling. And everything else. So I'm just going to have to put it out there. There was a DNA test done. 
that I was made aware of on Tuesday of uh, this past week was done by Umar Johnson's father. And it was done on... Uh, hold on, let me turn this light off. It was done on Ancestry.com. Now, before you black folk start going off and start talking about Ancestry.com as fraudulent and this, that, and the other, that they should have went on African Ancestry and all this other kind of bull, bull crap and this, that, and the other. Let me explain something to you. First of all, African ancestry does not, I repeat, does not let you know what uh, family members you may have. Ancest uh, African ancestry will let you know of your uh, African ancestry, tribes and regions and stuff like that. And possibly who the kings or queens was at the time that you may have been taken you know stuff like that ancestry.com will give you a DNA report of who are your family members that's the difference between ancestry and African ancestry uh, ancestry can't tell you your they can tell you your African regions, like countries and stuff like that, but they can't tell you the tribe. That's where African ancestry is different. Ancestry will cost you less than $100, where African ancestry can cost you as much as $700. Those are the differences. So, anyway... I was informed about his test and he was stuck on the regions like uh, he's Nigerian it, uh, his father is Nigerian uh, the Bailey family are, is not Nigerian we're from Ghana and the uh, indigenous uh Frederick Douglass family, we are uh, Ghanan and Mozambican. We are from uh, West Africa and East Africa. We are from Ghana and Mozambique. Um, he had a he had a less than fifteen percent um, percentage of Ghana, and on his primary. Um, chart I saw no Mozambique which would have been uh, southeastern Bantu I saw no Mozambique so I said well look into the people that you're related to and see if you can find any of us <coughs> excuse me now what he didn't know is that if you you take the test or whatever and that you um, when you take the test and you get new relatives <coughs> excuse me people who have already taken the test will get notifications that uh, they have new relatives you know if they keep uh, track of their account so people who already have an open account can go into their account and find new relatives. So I saw, so I went into my account and I looked for him and I made sure before you know because I was the one that told him to do it. I, I was the one that told him to do it. So I went in my I told him I said use your real name because I use my real name and I went into my account. And I look for him. Nowhere to be found. 
I told other family members, I said, go into your account and look for him. Nobody else found him. <laughs> so, it became obviously clear that Umar Johnson's father, by whom that Umar Johnson claims to be related to Frederick Douglass and the Bailey family, is not related to Frederick Douglass nor the Bailey family. When asked, uh, were there any Baileys at all on your list? He wouldn't answer the question. He started ducking and diving every question. And I told him, I said, man, you know what? Um, I think that this should be something that you should address. You should go public with this. Uh, and I'm going to wait and let you do it. Or whatever, but you know, quite naturally, you know, anybody with common sense would know that that offer comes with a you know that's a limited time offer because he we we, we talked about my family name, and and then on top of that, you know, I'm only forty three years old, you know, so I'm not an elder in my family. I got people in my family that I have to answer to. I have elders. And just so happens that little 17-year-old in the family, fishing around on Facebook, saw the Facebook post because he put the stuff out on Facebook. And I told him, I said, man, why are you putting it out on Facebook? I said, that's going to cause more problems than none. He said, well, it's out there now. It's done. And I'm like, I'm thinking myself, I'm like, okay, this is going to cause problems. But this is a 61-year-old man. What can I do? And he's not my father. You know what I'm saying? So I can't persuade him to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? If it was my father, I probably could, put it, probably could have persuaded him to take it down. So... My 17-year-old cousin happens to see it, and she brings it up to the elders. The elders come to me, and they're like, so, and they look at the comments or whatever, and so like, so what's this mess? And I, I tell them, and I'm like, well, you know, I'm trying to give him an opportunity to come out and clear the air and come out and be honest. And my elders are like, oh, <laughs> we... <laughs> We ain't trying to hear that mess. Uh, that boy's son, you know what I'm saying, and stole a million dollars on our family name. So we ain't trying to hear that. So they're like, well, you need to do something. We do we didn't put you out front for a reason, so you need to do something. Because that, boy, that boy's son then stole a million dollars for a school that don't exist using our family name. So you better do something. So, I guess here I am. Because the last I heard... He was supposed to meet with two scholars uh, today in D.C. Uh, one, uh, two Frederick Douglass historians. One was a re was a reporter and a Douglassonian. The other, who I actually just got off the phone with, who was the curator, who is the curator of Cedar Hill. And he called me this morning uh, wanting to know if the meeting was still on. That he was going to be there for this meeting. Uh, Dr. Kamal. And he was going to be there for this meeting to uh, look at the information which uh, this particular doctor has known for a couple years that Umar Johnson 
was not related and he really didn't need to see the information the DNA reports because he had he had done his own independent uh research because Umar would come into Cedar Hill with with a bunch of kids and be in there running his mouth so he did his own independent research so he already knew that Umar wasn't related and he and he instructed the staff at Cedar Hill to just treat him like a regular customer because uh, they, the whole staff already knew that he wasn't related so uh, they were instructed to just treat him like a regular customer uh, because he had challenged Umar on several occasions and then went back and um, checked his story and his story didn't check out. So he already knew that Umar, Umar Johnson was not related. And this was, and this is at, unc at my Uncle Fred's house. So when I would go there and I'd be, and I'd, I'd be talking to the staff and I was like, well, when's the last time Umar Johnson been here? And I was like, who the, f who the fake? And I'm like, yeah, the fat fake. And they were like, they were like yeah, uh, he comes here probably like maybe like once or twice a year. And I was like, well, you know he's not related. And they cut me off. They were like, we know he's not related. We know he's not a part of uh, you and Kenny's family. I'm like, okay. I'm like, so what goes on when he comes here? It was like, well, we treat him like a regular part of staff because this is a government facility or whatever. So now that we have the DNA evidence and on top of that, you know, the money that he's stolen, then I'm going to talk to Kamal about um, an actual, you know, actually barring him from the facility. And now... With the uh, and and uh, about six months ago, I sent an email to him, telling him that if he was caught in my family graveyard again, he would be arrested for trespassing. Because there's nobody in that graveyard that he has a blood tie to, for a reason why he should be in there, especially not taking pictures. Which is why we are putting up a security fence. Um, here very soon with an arm with, with an uh from from a d uh dust till d um from a from a uh dawn to dusk uh security guard they will only let in people for uh funeral services and people to come in and put in flowers and stuff like that by appointment because of him and people like him and it's a shame that black folk got to do stuff like this because of people like him. Now we have the DNA evidence that uh, that he is not actually related. And we have the DNA evidence now. His father took the test. And we can subpoena his father's test from Ancestry if his father would not come forward and since there you know since this game is going to be played where he doesn't want to you know he wants to take his time and do this and do this and you know he said well i'm going to hire a genealogist well well you can hire a genealogist but that ain't got a damn thing to do with us you can hire a genealogist to figure out who in your family told that damn lie but on this side dna don't lie and, and, you know, you get, of course, you get them black folk to say, well, well, ancestry is owned by the Mormons and blah, 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 blah and this, that, and the other, and yada, 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 yada. And, you know, okay, well, yeah, well, explain that to that cop out west who, uh, while he was cop, he was a serial killer and killed 25 women. And then he started working at Home Depot or some crap like that, or Lowe's or something like that for like the next 18 years. And then they used Ancestry D uh, Ancestry dot uh, com to pin 25 murders on his ass. Now he's sitting in prison right now. And guess what? He wasn't black. He was white. 
And it wasn't him that did the ancestry test. It was one of his relatives. And well, 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 well they had to get a sample from him, but uh, he didn't turn it in. They found it in the trash. He never turned it in. Either way, he's sitting in prison facing capital murder over a uh, ancestry DNA test. Pretty sure y'all seen it in the news. But the gist of this video is that there's been a DNA test done. Umar Johnson is not a blood relative of the Baileys nor the Douglas family. He has gotten that he has started off his career as a public speaker being a Frederick Douglass relative under false pretenses. So when he been coming at me, or, you know what I'm saying? So when I've been coming at him and then he, you know what I'm saying? He come back at me and he talked that mess about Bailey blood, blood, pure Bailey blood, whatever, whatever. He's a lying ass. When I told y'all that that family tree that he been running around with was pure fake, there's my proof. His DNA ain't get no play. So now y'all hit him with that. What y'all need to be doing right now is all of y'all who gave him money need to be getting yourselves a lawyer. Where the class action suit now? Where the um, where the Umarians at now? The dude ain't related. DNA test has failed. And I'm done.